Welcome, and welcome back to Know How Things Work. I'm Siren's wife, Heather, and I'm here today to talk about restorative yoga. And this video is an introductory video and designed for you to watch before you see the next two videos that we'll produce. Um, those are for practicing, and we wanna keep them very plain and simple so that you can use them over and over again. Um, I'll explain a lot about restorative yoga here, all about the props, even how you can make your own props so that this experience is very low cost or complete completely free to you. Um, why we wanted to do this video is because restorative yoga poses became really one of the best, cheapest structures that Siren and I found for him to help him get rest during the first couple years before we had a diagnosis of Lyme. Um, we noticed he had a really hard time staying asleep um, so when he would wake up in the middle of the night and wanted to sleep more he could go into some of these restorative poses and start to calm his nervous system back down um, and be able to rest and that to me is so helpful it was it was one of those aha moments in the middle of the night one night where um, where I was up because he was up and I was like let's just try this you know I'm a yoga teacher and I thought you know when I feel exhausted I do some restorative yoga why don't we try this and it, we sort of just one of those, of course, why didn't I think of it sooner? And thank God we thought of it. Um, uh, aha moments. And it really did help him sleep. And I remember he would keep the bolsters and and um, blankets right next to the bed. And he'd just roll out of bed. It's really quiet. He'd put earbuds in and be listening to Deepak meditations. Uh, Deepak Chopra meditations are just quiet, calming music for him. And even if he wasn't able to sleep, he was able to doze in and out of consciousness and at least be really resting his body. So let's talk a little bit about that. Why, um, why is restorative yoga so beneficial? Well, one thing that we recognize and now all of us really know and understand with Lyme disease is that it attacks the nervous system. So everyone has different symptoms, but almost all of the symptoms are, um, are because the nervous system is under attack. So it is in a fight or flight mode or think of it as autonomic nervous system all the time. Um, that's very hard for your body to calm down enough. It's very hard for your body to get rest. And if you don't have enough rest, if you can't get your body out of fight or flight and into the parasympathetic nervous system, the calm, relaxed state, enough of the time, you literally don't have enough energy to sleep. When you sleep, there's so many processes going on in the body. There's the reset for the brain. There's also um, cellular turnover, and that is like key to health. But but oftentimes people who have Lyme or other co-infections, those battles going on in your body, especially with the nervous system, don't allow you to calm yourself down enough. So I realized that the restorative yoga poses act as a reset button. And even if you can't sleep, because there's nights and days where that's not gonna happen, um, Siren used these poses to calm himself down enough, um, get his mind out of that fight or flight, which usually equals in the emotional body, fear state. And it allowed him to really get through the darkest days. What it did for me was I was able to do the poses with him sometimes. It allowed me the ability to feel like I was really helping my, my dear husband through the darkest, hardest part of the battle. Um, so we hope that these, um, these next videos will help you in that same way, um, will help you if you are supporting someone with Lyme. Look, you need restore, restorative yoga as much as your partner does. Something great to do together. Um, it's also that go-to mechanism in the middle of the night when you wake up and you want desperately to go back to sleep, but your symptoms, the, the buzzing of all the nerves through your body and or the ringing in your ears or just the can't feel good enough to rest, hopefully these poses will help you um, as they help Siren and they certainly helped me feel like I was helping him. So that's what we always hope of, hope will come out of these videos for you is that it gives you hope and that it makes you feel a little bit better and puts your health back into your hands rather than waiting for a miraculous um, intervention from uh, pharmaceuticals or from outside that you have it inside yourself. Let's talk a little bit about restorative yoga. So restorative yoga is different than other yoga. This is, this is a practice you 
you can do no matter how much energy you have or don't have. Um, Siren was very, very physical, um, and a month after Lyme hit, um, was almost unable to get through even one yoga class, let alone a run or a walk or a, a bike on the beach. So we realized uh, this also was a way for him to start feeling a little bit better and moving his body in the right way. Um, these, this is not like working out, but this does give you energy back to maybe be able to take a short walk or something like that. The goal of restorative yoga is to put you in poses and then support you completely, whether it's with props or the floor or a wall, so that you don't have to hold yourself in those poses and your body can just relax into the support that it's getting. So you do need some props, but let me show you the props that we're going to use. I've scaled it down to as minimal props as possible, number one. And then number two, I'm going to talk to you about how you can make your own props at home. You probably have everything you need all around you already so that this is a a zero cost experience, maximum value for your health. Um, so the first thing I'll talk about is sandbags. And um, Siren and I love these little meditation cushions. Again, they are inexpensive. Um, I think they're called poofs online, P-O-O-F. But, um, but I highly recommend if you have these, many of you have them already, um, you've got them at home. I'm gonna use two of them. You can also use uh, yoga blocks if you have them at home, two yoga blocks. Uh, but if you don't have these, it's so easy to make. Just get a couple bags of rice. Um, large Ziplocs and boom, there you go. Free and probably already stuff that you have at home. Um, another thing you'll need is a bolster. So this is a pretty large bolster. I do recommend large bolsters because especially for these poses that we're gonna do, um, the bigger the bolster, the more support you have. You may even wanna put pillows on top of it. Now, if you don't have a yoga bolster, no problem. Use large pillows off your couch or use um, pillows from your bed. And then you can take a towel and wrap around it, hold it together. Another thing I've done when I'm on the road and I need this, and obviously I'm not packing a bolster with me, um, is I just actually take a um, take a comforter and then I fold it up into about this shape and I just use the comforter off the bed. So something to think about. Um, but again, great bolsters, easy yoga bolsters, easy to get online. And if you don't want to invest in that, maybe it's your first few times in these videos, um, pillows will do just as great. So just make them a nice long um, and supportive surface. The last thing you'll need is a blanket. Um, and in instead of buying a pranayama blanket um, or a yoga blanket, I'm just gonna be using today a long towel, um, a bath sheet, and I folded it in half and um, long ways, and then I folded that in half. So you get about this shape, and then we'll do a bunch of different things with it, and I'll talk you through that as we go through, um, as we go through the videos. So uh, thank you so much, and again, um, our hope is for you to have the best health you possibly can, and uh, feel free to put questions and comments in the show notes below this, as well as the um, uh, as well as the practices. And as always, know how things work is listener supported podcast. So, if you like what you see and you'd like to support, um, feel free. You can do it a couple different ways. Number one, um, you love the music you hear, check it out on iTunes. Support here in that way, and uh, also you can make a donation for as little as a dollar a month. So um, you'll find out how to make those donations in the show notes. And as always, we wish you so much health and love and light and, uh, and look forward to connecting again soon. Namaste.